Hi again, friends. It's Miss Stephanie here. If you haven't met me yet or seen me in person, I'm at Creekside, Lakewood, and Cecilia Valley Elementaries, and I hope to see you at some of our stuff like our pumpkin patch play dates, story time, and all the fun things I have in person. But I hope you're enjoying cradle school too. All right, guys, we're gonna sing our How Many Friends Are Here Today song. How many friends are here today? How many friends are here to play? Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten jack-o'-lantern friends. Now let's clap it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to do that backwards? Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. How many of you said blast off after that? All right, friends, so we have 10 jack-o'-lanterns. Do you love Halloween as much as I do? I have skeletons, I have jack-o'-lanterns, and I have some fun Halloween books. But first, we're gonna sing a couple songs. All right, this is one of the songs you have to listen to the directions so we know what to do. It's called The Monster Stomp. Stomp your feet around the house. The stomp around the house. Hurrah! Hurrah! The monster stomp around the house. Hurrah! Hurrah! The monster stomp around the house. I sing and shout. You can march in place or you can stomp. Whatever your grown up says. You can make a lot of noise around the house. The monsters run around the house. Don't fall down. The monsters run around the house. Oh. The monsters run around the house. I sing and shout and run around. Woo! And I make a lot of noise. Monsters around. make lots of noise. The monsters jump around the house. Jump, 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 jump. The monsters jump around the house. Jump, 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 jump. The monsters jump around jump up the house. They sing and shout and jump about. Jump, 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 jump. And they make a lot of, of noise. noise. Show us your the best dance moves. Dance around the house. The monsters dance around the house. They sing and shout and dance about. And they make a lot make of lots of noise around the house. The monsters sleep around the house. The monsters sleep around Pretend the house. Pretend to sleep. The monsters sleep around the house. They snore. They snore. They sleep about. And they make a lot of A lot of noise like a monster. The <laughs> Good job, little monsters. I bet your grown-ups loved that one. All right. Now we're going to do the itsy bitsy spider. Because you know what? You'll see lots of spiders, maybe not real ones, but lots of little spiders when it's Halloween. And I know that this is some kid's favorite little nursery rhyme. Are you ready? Get your little spiders. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now listen, not all spiders are itsy bitsy, so we're gonna do the big giant spider now. Ready? Get your big giant spiders out. The big giant spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big giant spider went up the spout again. What about the teeny tiny one? 
Can you do a teeny tiny voice and a teeny tiny spider? Get ready. The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And guess what? The teeny tiny spider went up the spout again. All right, friends, have a seat because now it's time for shapes and colors. And I still have pumpkins just for Halloween. Remember, this can be called a rhombus or a diamond. Then we have triangle. Pentagon. Square. Rectangle. Circle. hexagon. All right guys, now we're going to do our pumpkin colors. We have green, yellow, blue, my favorite, pink, purple, red, orange, black, and white. Good job, friends. So that's your shapes and colors. And now we're gonna read some Halloween books. This is one of my kids' favorites, and it's called Don't Push the Button. Let's see what happens. Wow, we did such a great job trick-or-treating. We have so much candy. I hope you get lots of candy too. That scary house is the only one left, but I don't wanna go. I heard that monsters live there. Stop, what are you doing? Are you trying to get us gobbled up? Please, please, please don't ring that doorbell. I'll give you all my candy if we can go home right now. <sighs> I guess I can't stop you. Push the button and say trick or treat. I'm too scared. You peek inside. Open the door slowly. Let's open it very slowly. Eek! Monsters! Shout boo to scare them away. Ready? Boo! Again, louder. Boo! See if it worked. That's better. Hmm, looks like there's a note. For Larry. Can you cut the string and get it down for me? Let's cut it. The note says, clap twice to turn on the lights. Let's clap twice. Let's see if they came on. Surprise, Larry! We have an extra special treat for you, trick-or-treaters. Oh boy, are you ready? One, two, three, push. <gasps> Happy Halloween! I told you we should trick-or-treat at this house. Did he really tell his friend that? No. All right, now I have trick-or-treat little critters. And when I was growing up, I loved little critter books. Halloween was coming. We had a lot to do to get ready. We went to the store to get our costumes and Halloween candy. There were Halloween decorations everywhere. We bought a glow-in-the-dark skeleton for our front door. There were lots of costumes. It was hard to choose. Dad picked out a creepy mask for himself. My baby brother didn't like the mask very much. What's he doing? He's crying. So dad chose a silly one instead. My sister and I picked out a bunny costume for our brother. Mom said, maybe next year. It's a little too big right now. 
I tried on a cowboy costume, a green monster costume, and a pirate costume. I chose the pirate costume and a really cool bag for my candy. My sister chose a princess costume. I thought she looked silly. Dad said she looked very pretty. The next day, we went to a farm to get a pumpkin. We rode to the field on a big hay truck. The hay made Dad sneeze a lot. I thought it was fun. There were pumpkins everywhere in the field. I found the perfect one. So did my sister. We had to draw straws. When we got home, we put the pumpkin on the table to make it a jack-o'-lantern. Remember, jack-o'-lanterns are pumpkins with faces. But when Dad started cutting, my sister screamed, Don't hurt my pumpkin! Dad drew a face on the pumpkin instead. My sister said it looked cute. I didn't think so. On Halloween day, we had a party at school. We made masks out of paper bags. For the Halloween party, we had orange cupcakes and roasted pumpkin seeds and orange punch. Our teacher made a real jack-o'-lantern. As soon as it got dark on Halloween night, my sister and I put on our costumes. Dad put on his mask. Dad took us trick-or-treating. The moon was spooky and there were ghosts and goblins everywhere. I saw a lot of my friends. There were some cool costumes. One of my friends even had a costume just like mine. Look at them matching. At the last house on our block, I noticed a hole in my candy bag. Some of my stuff had fallen out. Oh no. I think my dog found it. I started to cry. My sister said, I'll share some of my candy with you. When we got home, we dumped all our candy on the floor and divided it up. Mom said, I've never seen so much candy. Oh, sharing so nice. You should share some of yours with your parents. I'm sure they'll appreciate some chocolate. If I'm really careful, I bet I can make my candy last all the way until next Halloween. Well, maybe. All right, I'm gonna show you all of our crafts we have to do this week. All right, friends, this week in your packets, you probably saw lots of interesting stuff and I'm gonna show you what we're making. So if you have a paper plate, you'll need your grown up to cut out a circle and I've already punched holes in it for you. We're gonna make our own spider webs with yarn and you'll have to have your own little spider that I'll send you. So parents, you might wanna tape the ends of the yarn to the back but let's let the kids lace this through because it's good for their fine motor skills. And sometimes they might need a little help, but this is one of those things I really want them to do by themselves. So everyone will get yarn, a plate, and a spider, and all you'll need is tape. And I'll go ahead and cut your yarn out for you too. It'll just be one long string. And don't worry kids if yours looks different than mine because I want everyone's to be unique. You might have a white spider web because that's what spider webs really look like. I just did orange for fun. And then, if you remember last week when we did the little pumpkin with our fingerprints, we're gonna do something a little different this time. You're gonna take the ink dauber you have, the little bingo one, and you're gonna stamp it. You all have different colors. I used purple. Whatever color came in your kit, you're gonna use. So I want your bat to be unique. If you really want to, you can use paint again, but this will be fun to use your little ink dauber. And then after your bat and your spider web, you get to make your very own witch. And this one's mine. She has crazy orange hair, a green face. Look, she even has a little mole and googly eyes. And this is her hat. You're gonna make that. So what you're gonna do is get your paintbrush and you're gonna paint whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be green like mine. And you're gonna paint your paper plate. You're gonna let it dry and then you can add your googly eyes I sent you. You're gonna add the hat I sent you. A little black pom-pom for the mole. 
And listen, if you don't want to add some of this stuff, that's okay. I want your witch to look how you want. But then your grown up or you can find a black marker. It should be in your transition of school kit and draw the face just like I did. See, I gave my witch a pointy nose and silly teeth, but you can do whatever you want with your black marker. Get creative and make sure you send me a picture because I can't wait to see them. I'll send you some hair too. You might not have orange, but you can have crazy colorful hair just like I did. And I hope you guys have fun doing that like I did. So we're gonna sing our goodbye song and then we're done. I hope you guys have a great Halloween. I've had so much fun with you and I can't wait to see your costumes and your art. All right, everybody get ready for a goodbye song. Get your stars ready. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. What a wonderful child you are. Big bright eyes and nice round cheeks. Talented person from head to feet. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. What a wonderful monster you are. Are you a little monster for Halloween? Bye guys.